Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. We are on Minecraft.net to check out Snapshot 18W33A and for those of you that always ask me how you can get this, it is available through the launcher for the Java edition of the game. Now it says here, back from vacation, we're now trying to finalise 1.13.1 and get it to you as soon as possible. Consider this a pre-pre-release maybe. So with all of the team back it should mean that things move forward quickly, which is great and as you can see there's not a lot to to talk about. We'll go over the bug fixes, but one of the new features is actually kind of a big deal. Added tooltips to buckets of tropical fish. And as we head into the game, you'll notice a slime swimming around in this area, something burning up on the hill, and a slime over there. Yes, we are near a swamp, but this snapshot will be deemed as a buggy one. Uh, mobs will spawn in the daytime, and slimes will spawn with them in any biome. So that's makes this one pretty much unplayable in survival Minecraft, but we can go check out those tropical fish. So I want to show you what's up with this by grabbing a couple of buckets. So what's cool about doing this in creative mode is that I can throw down a tropical fish, then I can pick it up, and then I can place down that exact same one over and over again. But now when you look at the, the bucket here, there is a name for the type of fish that we have just created. So if I captured this one again, it would have the same name in the new bucket. And of course you're going to try and swim away, aren't you? You pesky devils. Okay, I managed to get one and it's the same type of fish, but this one here doesn't have a name because it's the creative mode bucket and uh, that means when we place it down each time we get a new fish. Now you may be aware that there are two different types of tropical fish model. You can see the slimmer one on that side and a chunkier one over here. And then they come with different skins and colours and there is supposed to be a large number of different types of tropical fish going up into the thousands. Well now each of them appear to have a unique name which could mean there are actually thousands of unique names out there for these tropical fish. I've tried to investigate it a little bit. I've managed to find a couple of the same names coming up again and again. Uh, we have Emperor, Red Snapper, Sunstreak and then some colours below it. So sometimes it has the name and then the colouring below it. Uh, cotton candy better and then that's the same one as we got over there anyway let's open up this chest because I've been collecting quite a few of them so at the top here we got dotty back triggerfish emperor red snapper red chilids geez I'm sure they're gonna miss say some of these right and uh, parrotfish you can see I got this one twice this one over here twice as well um, and then this one right here I managed to get four of them so are some more common than others maybe I don't know Got a red snapper, and down the bottom here we've got this one, uh, Tang being the last name, yet the first name is a colour. And then we've also got this right here as well, where we have the uh, the names of the two lines. Let's actually go and pick these ones out deliberately. Trying to view the fish in this game without them swimming away is a little bit tricky, but we can kind of see them here. They're contained by some barrier blocks, and I've set them up in the order that we see them down here. So yellow Tang, blue Tang, and a black Tang. This is not yellow. There's a little bit of blue going on there, and that is definitely black right there. But the thing is, that is a different type of fish from this one. So I don't know what the logic behind this is. That's what I'm trying to figure out, and I don't have the answers for you right now. The next ones are the cob, light blue, the flopper, green, yellow, and the flopper, yellow, light blue. Um, so those two are the smaller type of fish, right? And those are the floppers. And then this bigger one here is the cob. Anyway, I'm currently trying to get a list of all of the names out of the jar file of the game, so if I manage to find that, maybe I'll put it at the end of the video. However, if I'm not successful with the time that I have to make this video, we'll probably have to wait for further information, but I'm sure someone will figure out the mystery behind all of this right now, and I really like it, and also, it kind of creates a game of gotta catch them all, right? Now that all of these have names on the buckets, it means that you have a real incentive to catch them because it's easy to tell which are the ones you need to get. Now some of you will recognize this site. This is Tango Tech's farm from the Hermitcraft server that provides him with lots of gunpowder and other drops from mobs. They spawn on these platforms and they get washed off by water from uh, these dispensers. Now unfortunately in 1.13 the performance of water updating has been really really poor that means when water spreads out and moves about in the world it can cause a lot of problems. This is supposedly fixed or optimized in this update so I figured I would take a backup of the Hermitcraft world. I would figure out how to turn on Tango's farm and we could use that as a benchmark so to speak.
Okay, so this isn't terrible, but it does chalk the game down to about 30 FPS when the water is flowing. And I realise that we don't really have a benchmark here, so I'm going to go load this up in 1.13 and see what kind of frames we get with that. Well, this is really quite surprising. Here in Minecraft 1.13, I am sustaining a higher FPS when the water is flowing from Tango's farm, and I'm getting less herky jerkiness as well. It really just looks like it performs better in 1.13, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Just so you don't think I've misunderstood something, it definitely says improved performance of liquids in the world. Maybe just not the way we hoped for. And also down here it says stone item appears when resizing window. Yeah, this is a bug. You resize your window and a stone block will appear here. That is just so very peculiar. So there are a whole host of bug fixes in the change log and I read through them. There was about three that seemed rather important, worth mentioning. And some others that sound important too, but if you look into the notes, they're just like something that cropped up in the last snapshot and has been patched again immediately. So first of all, let's talk about these ocean ruin structures. I'm sure many of you have seen them. When you find them in survival Minecraft, you'll probably see um, a few drowns around them. And there was this problem where the drowns wouldn't spawn with either a trident or a tiller shell uh, or a fishing rod. These are things that they can actually spawn with naturally. I just noticed that these two over here have got them. However, the ones that would come through the structure of the ocean ruin wouldn't spawn with those, so that's been patched. So there is a mob cap in this game for the wildlife of the sea. That includes the squid, the tropical fish, all the fish types, and dolphins as well. And there was a bug in this game where if you were to pick up a fish inside of a bucket and then place it down, it would still contribute to that mob cap. However, a fish from a bucket isn't going to despawn, so you could therefore have a whole bunch of them placed down by the player, and if they are loaded inside of the world, they would stop mobs from spawning naturally in the ocean. And that is a nasty bug and one that's been crushed. And the third of our bugs is a simple one to explain. It's been in the release of 1.12 and 1.13, I believe. If I were to be in survival mode, these drowns would be attacking me. They would be damaging my armor. And if I were then to block with the shield, they could attack, do damage to the shield. It would also still do damage to the armor, which is not normal behavior. So now when you're blocking with your shield, your armor is not going to take damage. And I've got some really good news for you. We have got a list of the names of the tropical fish. I want to say a big thank you to my buddy Mspace Dev who extracted this from the game code. Unfortunately, the best way for me to presentate this to you is to literally just show you the plain text. So the names are in this bit over here, and uh, it's predefined, it's described at, and there appears to be up to 21 different predefined names. And then when we go down here, there is also dot type, and it's got Betty, Blockfish, Brainy. And I believe that there is a little bit more to it here, as these are some of the ones that we've seen with the colours of the names included as well. So I think what we're looking at is a section right here that will have a name and the colour combination, and then a section up here with just a specific name. And I just counted them all up, there are 34 different names in total. And that, my friends, is where we're going to conclude this snapshot video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And I'll mention that I'm going to be streaming on Twitch later today. Twitch.tv slash Asuma. Head over there. It won't be too long before I'll stream some Hermitcraft. Um, so hope to see you over there. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.